Did you know that Gemini just released a brand new model that's actually better than ChatGPT's O1 model and it is 100% free? Or maybe you didn't know, you can now share your screen with Gemini and guess what? It can basically automate your work for you. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing compared to the seven other Gemini 2.0 hacks I'm gonna share with you in this video that you need to know for 2025. If you wanna be more productive, get more done, and automate your work with AI, these hacks are gonna completely change your life. Gemini hack number one is you can now share your screen with Gemini. Now, we're gonna get started by clicking talk to Gemini, and then I'll show you exactly how to share your screen. Hey, Google, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Is there anything I can help you with? Awesome, I'm gonna share my screen with you, and then I need you to show me how to do four different tasks so we can see how good you actually are. Okay, I understand. Please share your screen when you are ready and I will do my best to help with the four tasks. Awesome, I'm sharing my entire screen. Right now I'm pulling up some data that I have in an Excel spreadsheet. Can you see this? Yes, I can see your screen. Awesome, these are my different YouTube competitors. I have their views from long form, from shorts, their total views, and whether or not their views are up or down. Can you please look at this really quickly and tell me which row gets the highest amount of views, both for long form videos and for shorts, and then I want you to look at column E, which is going to tell you whether or not their views are up or down, and let me know which of these people I should actually look at in order to make my content better if I wanted to copy them. Okay, the individual with the most total views is in row four with 6,213,000 views. The individual that has the most up by views in column E is in row three with views up by 446,000. Is there anything else? No, that's completely perfect, but I do have some other tasks for you that I want to be able to show you off. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna show you my landing page for my YouTube Shorts mentorship. So can you see the header that I have right here that says grow on YouTube in 30 days guaranteed or get your money back? And then I have some subtext underneath it. Yes, I can see the header that says grow on YouTube in 30 days guaranteed or get your money back and the subtext below it. Awesome, I'm also going to show you this landing page right here. Now this landing page converts better than the shorts landing page. This right here is the long form mentorship landing page. What can I do on this shorts page to make it convert better like my other one? Okay, one thing that stands out is that the grow on YouTube call to action button on the shorts page has less contrast with the background compared to the long form page where the button has a blue background. It may help to make the call to action button more prominent and contrasting. Also, you could experiment with adding social proof or testimonials on the shorts page to build trust. Is there anything else? Hey Gemini, I want to create a YouTube video about the YouTube algorithm for 2025. I have two thumbnails here and two titles. Can you see them? Yes, I can see the thumbnails and titles. Would you please give me better examples? Let's focus on the title and thumbnail for the YouTube algorithm explained 2025 update. The thumbnail shows a man with text that says YouTube is about to change. Some title variations you could consider are YouTube algorithm 2025, what's changing and how to adapt or is YouTube changing in 2025, a must watch for creators, or the 2025 YouTube algorithm update explained. For the thumbnail, you could try an image of yourself looking surprised or with an aha expression, along with text that highlights the key change or an intriguing question. Now what's even crazier is you can also use this to basically teach you anything. For example, I'm gonna pull up YouTube right now and here we go. Gemini, can you please help me upload a video to YouTube? I've never done this before. To start, you should see a create button at the top right of your YouTube page. Can awesome. you locate that? Yep, I found it. What should I click now? Click on it. A drop down menu will appear. From that menu, select upload video. Awesome. Let me know when you've done that. I've done that. After you've clicked upload video, you should now see a new window with an area to drag and drop video files or a select files button. I'm on a Mac, where can I find the file that I have? Okay, since you're on a Mac, you'll need to locate your video file using the finder. Click on the select files button and it should open up a finder window where you can navigate your folders and find the video. Once you find the video, you can select it for upload. Do you see the finder? This video is about uh, an AI course for other tools and use cases coming soon. Could you please give me a good title to use for it? Okay, I see that the current title is AI Course Module 8, Other Tools and Use Cases Coming Soon. Since the video is about AI tools and use cases, let's try something more engaging. How about unlocking AI new tools and use cases? 
or AI tools you need to know, module eight. Now, as you can see there, there are literally an unlimited number of use cases for you to be able to share your screen with Gemini and get it to help you accomplish any task. But that's just the first hack. There are still six more that can teach you things like how you can make Gemini give you better responses, how to customize Gemini, the best models to be using, and so much more. But before I dive into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna get better with AI or learn more about AI in 2025, because I literally upload multiple videos a week walking you through tutorials just like this and the latest and greatest AI tools that actually work and you're not gonna wanna miss them. Gemini hack number two is you can come up here to compare right here and you can literally compare different Gemini models. So I'm gonna use 1.5 Pro right here and in this one, I'm going to use 2.0 Flash Experimental, which is their new program, which basically rivals ChatGPT01. And what I'm gonna ask this to do is something creative. For example, can you please give me five YouTube titles for how to grow on YouTube? Please make them super creative and under 60 characters. So from here, I'm going to click run. And what you are gonna see is that this now gives you completely different things. So if we look at these right here, these quite frankly, weren't that good. But if we look over here, these are going to give us much better titles. Now this isn't just for creative tasks. This is also better at math tests. It's better at reasoning tests. It's better at coding tests. And this will actually allow you to show this off so that you can test it in one simple quick screen, see which model is going to work best for the test that you're gonna do. And I'm gonna actually Actually say please increase it to 100 characters and what you're gonna see is that again it's going to give completely different answers now I wish that every single AI tool had this because this would allow you really quickly to see which model actually works instead of having to go through all different 10 models or you could potentially be using the wrong model the whole time Gemini hack number three is going to be this prompt gallery right here now you can come in here and explore different prompts ideas for working with the latest Gemini models and if you click in one of these, it is literally going to give you everything that you need to be able to do. For example, if I click in here for video q and A, it literally walks through like exactly what your prompt should be to get the best results. And if we come back, we can see the same thing down here with tone changer. Let's say we need to adjust the writing tone to fit your needs. Again, we could give it this right here and then it shows us exactly what an ideal prompt looks like. And this has several different things like transcribing audio with speaker info or if you want to do something with coding, you can do that. Or if you want to create a scavenger hunt, you could do that. Or if you're a teacher and you need to create a set of math worksheets for parents, you can click in here and it's going to be able to do that. You could have it optimize your code. You can have it describe an object. You can use recipes, a list from an image, chart decoder, marketing AI, and there are literally tons and tons of different things here. This is absolutely insane and it basically tells you exactly how to use Gemini. Now, before we get into a bunch of the other hacks that are gonna be more serious and more productivity focused, I did wanna share with you one that was kind of fun because I think this is really cool if you're trying to plan a vacation or surprise somebody with a cool trip somewhere. Now in order to do this, I'm gonna click on starter apps right here. I'm gonna scroll down. We're gonna click right here to map explore. And I'm gonna be able to prompt this with several different things. For example, I'm in Florida right now. It is incredibly hot. So I'm gonna ask it to take us somewhere cold. So where's somewhere that is really cold? And then it brings me here in Russia. Now, if I say, what about in the US and then run this, this is gonna find somewhere in the United States that's incredibly cold. I can zoom in on here, I can get directions here. And again, you could change this for a bunch of different things. Like let's say I wanna do something ancient, it's gonna take me over to Turkey. If we click down here, this is actually gonna allow us to now zoom in here and see this on Google Maps, which is really cool. We can also take this right here. We can come over to Google, we can type this in, we could get a bunch of images about this, we could get videos about this, and we can basically explore the world and see all these places that we never knew about. Okay, now this next feature that I have for you is incredibly useful on a laptop, but it's even more useful on a mobile device, which is where I'd actually suggest that you do this. So this right here is Show Gemini. Basically, you can use your webcam to share what you're looking at and get real-time feedback. This is incredibly useful if you have a bug bite and wanna know what it is. If you see somebody with a watch on and you wanna know what it is, 
or if you just see a plant or something that might be poisonous or an animal, or there's literally tons and tons of use cases. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna click on show Gemini and I'm gonna show it this box right here. And let's see if it can identify what kind of box this is. What kind of box is this? It looks like a Rolex box. You're totally right. Now, what is this right here? That appears to be the Rolex watch pillow that sits inside of the box. It's really cool. I'm gonna show you the watch. Can you try to tell me what kind of Rolex this is? Okay, I see a gold colored watch with a black band. What would you like to know about the watch? What kind of Rolex do you think this is? Based on the watch face and the band, it appears to be a Rolex Yachtmaster. It has a rotating bezel, a black dial, a gold case, and a black rubber strap. Would you like to know anything else about it? Yeah, what's that strap called? The strap on the Rolex Yachtmaster is called an OysterFlex bracelet. So as you can see, that is absolutely insane. It literally knew exactly what I was showing it and it knew exactly what kind of watch I'm wearing. Now what I still need to show you are two different hacks that are actually gonna make Gemini give you better answers because you're gonna be allowed to customize Gemini and customize how creative it is if you do these next two things. And what I'm talking about are these two features that you're gonna be able to find really simply. If you click on system instructions right here, you can do optional tone and you can give it style instructions, for example. I can say something along the lines of, I need everything you give me to be super serious, and ideally it should be short. Please don't ramble on, that will really annoy me. I need it to be straight to the point. And then all we do is put that right there. Now, if we come over here, this is where we're gonna see this other thing, which is temperature, which is basically how much creativity is allowed in the responses. So we can set this to zero, and we're gonna see something like, please give me 10 titles for a video about Gemini hacks. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna click run, and this is gonna give us some really, really bad titles. But if we change the temperature up to 2.0, we could say something like, please make these more creative. I just turned your temperature up. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna run and it's gonna give us more creative things right here. Now, in addition to all this, we can upload a ton of different things. For example, we could upload files, we could upload videos, we could upload different photos, we could even upload audio so that Gemini can actually view all of these things. For example, I would be able to literally upload one of my videos to Gemini because I'm a YouTuber, I can upload the transcript and I could have Gemini ask me different things I should do to make the video better. Here's an example. Now this right here is pretty insane. So again, this gives me different structure changes right here. I'm gonna set the temperature. I'm gonna turn this all the way up to two. I'm gonna come into the system instructions and say, I need you to be an expert at creating YouTube videos that keep people's attention. And then I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna type this prompt in here. So what this prompt says is I am providing you with a video and a transcript. Please give me 10 different ways I can improve this video. I wanna maximize the audience retention that it gets on YouTube. The video is a pitch for my TikTok mentorship program. And then under here, I put in the transcript as I got it from YouTube. Now from here, I need to actually find this file on my computer. I'm gonna type in TikTok ending. This is going to pull up this ending file, and now we're gonna come over here, we're gonna put this in here, and then once this loads, we're gonna click run, and this is literally going to watch the video, it's gonna look at the transcript, and give us 10 different ways we can optimize this to make it a better video. So, here are 10 different ways to improve the video. It tells us how we can increase the pace, we could use more visual variety, it relies too much on my face to camera, it says show, don't tell, I have a stronger call to action, I need more social proof. I can input more storytelling, for example, showcase a former student's journey using the program, address different objections, have a different end screen optimization, and add some music and sound. Now these are crazy, crazy suggestions, but let's say that I wanted to do more. So for example, I'm going to ask this to give me a better hook. Please give me a better hook if you don't like the one I used. Now this is gonna go through, I'm gonna click run, and again, 
This is gonna think for a few seconds and it is gonna give me a better hook than the one that I actually use in this video. If I go through and then fix these 10 things, I could do this again, get more feedback. And this is how you could get feedback on videos without ever having to do anything. This actually gave me a bunch of different hooks. It gave me six different ones. And this is crazy because now I can test all of these things. But I do wanna to emphasize to you, Gemini isn't the only AI tool you should be using in 2025, which is why I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you seven other AI tools that are completely free that are going to help you make more money in 2025 be more productive and ultimately just get way more things done without having to do it yourself i'll see you over there